So let's talk about diet. So what is a diet that would optimize your immune system? First of all, what's a diet that's weakening your immune system? Well, it's a diet where you, are, for example, drink too much alcohol. And of course, a toxin. Yeah? Don't drink, yeah, yes, in one glass or maybe maximum two for men has a potentially protective effect and, and, uh, and bioflavonoids and antioxidants and what have you. But it's still a toxin. Okay, and, and people thinking you know three, four, five glasses, and that will strength, that will certainly weaken the immune system. Smoking, environmental toxins, all that stuff. So, a big thing is protein. Obviously, worldwide, the reason number one why people have low immune systems is because they have low protein, yeah, malnutrition. And uh, in order to figure out how much protein you exactly need, it's not so totally easy. So, but many people are malnourished in regards to protein. And that means they just, vegetarians often don't get enough and don't have enough. And uh, you need to potentially figure that out by filling in uh, your daily uh, food requirements by, um, through one of the computer programs and so on. And that's worth to do sometimes, yeah? Figure out how much you actually on average day eat. They didn't want to use a computer program, see how much protein that would be, and then look at some of the scales. It depends on the activity level. In very coarse ways, half of your pounds in gram. Yeah, so you have 150 pounds, about 75 grams of protein a day, okay? Which is about 20, 25 grams, three times a day. But if you work out intensely, or a big buff guy with lots of lean muscles, you need more. Sugar weakens the immune system. So the idea of to eat lots of sweets at the beginning of a cold, or even to have a drink, you know, traditionally, that might be good for the placebo effect, but in reality, there is no truth to it, yeah? Sugar weakens the immune system. Veg lots of vegetables, lots of fruit. I mean, fruit, obviously, berries, cranberries, you know, obviously, all this stuff is loaded with antioxidants, with certain nutritional factors that are immune, stimulative and antibacterial, antiviral. Yeah? So eating lots of berries, um, that for example is a, good, is a good thing. Eating lots of vegetables, greens, all that stuff, good thing. Eating too much starch, for most people again, for example, sugar weakens the immune system. It doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of chocolate uh, or dark chocolate or so, but you should minimize these things and our sugar consumption is by far too much in our society, yeah? It's, it's nuts, it's crazy. Eating low sugar diet, enough protein, fiber is very important, because fiber in a way nurtures actually our friendly bacteria uh, in our gut, our own probiotics, lactobacillus, acidophilus, bifidus, and that's where the immune system sits, okay? So if you're, there's this cooperation between what happens within your intestines, how much fiber you have, how many probiotics are living there, and a direct influence on your own immune system. Yeah, that's how it comes when you take antibiotics every five minutes. Your immunity actually naturally goes down because you have an overgrowth of the bad guys in your gut, and that's not good for your immune system. That overloads your immune system long term, not short term, long term. So fiber, very important. Either it's a fiber supplement, or uh, eating lots of fiber and bran and so on. Yeah? And we all do not eat enough bran. Yeah? That's just the reality um, of it. So, fish, omega, fish is important. Yeah? Fish is healthy. Uh, has omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, obviously, as fish oil, has profound health benefits, stimulates the immune system, but if you have an acute infection, you actually should go off your fish oil supplement for a few days. Yeah? It turns out that this arachidonic acid, which is one of the pro-oxidative substances, inflammatory substances in the body, if you totally suppress it, what happens with fish oil, where you produce kind of the good oicosanoids, um, the arachidonic acid is important to foster your immune system. Okay, and so for a few days you should actually stay off. Some people, you know, drink down, uh, gulp down omega threes because they think it's healthy in an acute infection. So omega threes are great to prevent 
so that you never get there. But once you get something, you should stop it for a few days. Okay? Important little point. Mm -hmm. So diet. Any questions to diet? I mean, I could go into big details of it, but I think you get the gist. Yes, John. You had mentioned uh, fruits as part of your diet? Yes. But many of the fruits are high in sugar. Yeah, so you have to look a little bit at the glycemic index of fruits. You're absolutely right. Um, but the berries, for example, are not. And all the berries, you know, grain berries, blueberries, uh, are profoundly healing, okay? And really produce these antibacterial substances at the same time stimulate the immune system, at the same time are antioxidants. So they have, the nice thing about these foods is they have a multitude of different angles into the, into the system. Yeah? And berries even in a positive way stimulate your uh, genetic code to strengthen your immune system. It's unbelievable.